plaintiff, Sarah Castiglione, says she has babysat the defendant's children for years. But when he started dating his current girlfriend, the co-defendant, they used her to babysit so they could go out and party. Sarah's suing because she claims the defendants failed to pay her for her services. Defendants Juanita Bridwell and her boyfriend Bill Chapin say they have six children. And Sarah wasn't even a good sitter because she fed their children junk food and got them hyped up on sugar. They say Sarah is suing for more than they owe. Start with you. Your Honor, I babysat their kids for about six months while they went partying, drinking, having fun, time their lives. While I was home with six kids. Nights, obviously. At night, yes. Bill is a DJ at night, so he would take her with them, which... But I've known Bill for about four or five years. I used to babysit for him and his wife when they were still married, his three kids. Never had a problem, always paid his wages, always pretty basic, you know. But he came down to me about the fall of 2011, told me he was in a bind. He didn't have anybody to watch his kids, he needed some help, him and his wife weren't together anymore. Again, he always paid, so I said, sure, why not, I'll help you out. I think it was about two or three visits later, Winita showed up with her kids. And it was just her two kids, they left me two minutes later with two kids I've never met in my life. So it was pretty basic night. I mean, they were pretty quiet, a little nervous because they'd never met me before. It's okay, they're kids. I think it was about December then they told me they were moving to McChesney Park, which is about 15 minute drive from us. And they asked me if I would still continue babysitting because their kids liked me. And I said, all right, and they never paid me. But the first time he asked me if they could pay me the next weekend, which was pretty basic. I mean, it always happened. It was at the end of the week, they'd pay me for a couple days, which, okay, why not? It's easier for everybody. But the second time I was there, then when I expected my payment, he told me he was getting a back check from like Social Security and he asked me if he could pay me out of that. Social I mean, Security? You went for that? The man doesn't look any more than 40, 45. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't have believed it, I guess. It's my fault, but. And he and that DJ in the club, they don't let seniors DJ <laughs> out of the man. Like I said, I've known Bill for a while, and I always thought I could trust him with this. You were talking real good for a minute. <laughs> oh, she sure can talk and talk fast and very clear with your statements, and then you brought me that. <laughs> <laughs> so you believed this 40-year-old man when he told you he was waiting on his Social Security check. <laughs> Look, 40, how old are you, sir? I'm 49 years old, Your Honor. Oh, you're 49, all right. You all want to give me some background before she gets into the specifics of her wages? <laughs> okay, well, here, Your Honor, um, first of all, um, I began uh, seeing him roughly in September of 2011. Um, he asked me to come and help him on gifts because he was starting to have uh, problems and everything. So that's what I was doing. In the very beginning, yes, Sarah was getting paid by him and there, that was their agreement and everything. Um, after that, basically, um, in February of 2012 is when we moved to McChesney Park. She watched the kids at roughly the end of December of 2011 to maybe a couple times there in the beginning of January and February of 2012. Um, yes, uh, Bill here is uh, going on, um, he has actually applied for uh, SSI um, through the VA. Um, for injury. Actually, I, I have, excuse me, Your Honor, I have Bichette syndrome. I was born with autoimmune disease. The, the veteran. Okay, the for VA, illness, yeah, disability, yeah. disability illness, yes. though. Okay. It's not for the, like old age or anything like that, it's for disability. Right. All right, so that makes sense. I was about to add that to the list of uh, <laughs> excuses people should never go for. Yeah. <laughs> you know, income taxes. Right. You know, anybody tell you to wait on my, I pay mm -hmm. you when you get my income tax. Mm -hmm. You're not getting your money. Student loans. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting to pay you when I get my student loan. You're not getting your money. I was about to add Social Security on to that. So, okay, I don't have, if I tell you they pay you when they get Social Security, you're not getting your money, particularly if they're 40. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. So what was it like? Was she doing all right with the kids? There in the beginning, you know, I thought things were okay. And then I no started noticing, even with his children, because actually together we have six kids together. And I think there was only maybe once or twice where she actually babysat where all six kids were together. Actually, it, it was way more than that. And if it wasn't all six, it was five of them with her daughter right. missing. Go ahead, ma'am. So anyways, um, as I was saying, it was only a couple of times where all six of them that were mm -hmm. together. And when I would come home, there would still be, whether it was three o'clock in the morning after the gig was done, kids would still be up, sugar high, 
from sugar, popcorn, I mean, just yeah, eating and things Either that like way, no mom and daddy. They, they were jumping up and down. Um, plus mom besides and that, daddy, I every have, night, they out to 3 a.m. When they coming home, ever. This is bothering I me. Have. I can't sleep no more. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I, I mean, I'm a mother, of course, you know, but I have Did you two, work at the club? I help him out. I help him set up. I help him tear down. I help with the customers to get them what they need because he is not, he, he does this as a hobby. So I own the business. He does not. Okay. Um, so he's doing this for free then? Your, if you your, own the business. Your Honor, she took yes. over the business because of my, dis business. my disability. I okay. paid. All right, we I was just, just We curious. just want to keep it all legal, okay. Your Honor. All right, now the number of times uh, you failed to um, be paid, you have a list of yes, the dates or what have you? All right, then that was how much each time you were? I put 100 down each $100? time. $100? All right, was that the agreement oh, every time? Oh, wow. If it was $100, man, I'd go right out how there and do it all the time. How much was it? 20 bucks I was giving her $20 a night. Per night? She was taking night. For how long? She would start maybe about 7.30, 8 o'clock. 7.30, 8 o'clock. Oh, no, man, oh, yeah, really? Yeah, and stay I until wish. 3 a.m. And you say you'd come when? I sometimes came to 3 in the afternoon. Sometimes but it was the first okay, time it was your kids okay. about 7.30. Okay. Seven we hours. There, so how can that be considered babysitting? And she's coming what over. What would she to, come for? She did come. I, I've always asked her, come over, come hang out, you know, before be we, friend. you know, oh, be our okay. friend. Yeah. All right. That's but you admit, you admit that she come at 8 p.m. Yeah. To 3 a.m. Yes. Yeah. That's seven hours. Right. Yeah, for twenty dollars, but she agreed Let's on see that. What but, that she, is. but she agreed What's on that. that. She agreed she on that. Agreed three three dollars an hour. <laughs> well, well, if you Versus agree on it, one hundred dollars would be uh, one hundred divided by seven. Fourteen bucks an hour. You alleged she would accept three dollars an hour. That's mm -hmm. what you say she would accept. Exactly. She says it was fourteen dollars an hour. And that sounds much more reasonable. I do not believe this woman babysat for three dollars an hour, six children. It wasn't yeah. six. Sometimes <laughs> it was. I think there was only maybe once or twice. Okay. Other than that, no there was way. only no maybe way. one or two kids. And uh -huh. again, they were in bed by eight o'clock. And again, if she well, kept she could have left she... and went home then, couldn't she? Yeah. She didn't have to be there at all. Not by law, though. You have exactly. to have somebody with children oh. with two disabilities. So you all had to have her. <laughs> yes, we did. And you yeah. can't pay anyone $3 an hour to do anything other than work in a prison. <laughs> <laughs> now, unless your house was a prison, this woman was severely underpaid. If I am to believe that she would accept three dollars an hour and I don't believe that indeed I believe her and your testimony is so unreasonable that I would not believe anything else you tell me about your transactions with this woman judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of one thousand dollars well I'm glad this is done and over with congratulations I mean you you agreed on the twenty thirty dollars I'm glad you're happy with this. Goodbye. Oh, I am getting paid finally. I mean, well, I, regardless, I, I, you agreed. You agreed. You agreed to wait for me. To wait for his well, disability. No, One of your text messages said you would never screw a friend. You didn't talk to me for like a year, so I guess that made it pretty easy to screw no, a friend. We talked and all. off and it on. It has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with that. If that's the way you feel, that is the way I feel. You never talk to me afterwards.